Hello everyone, welcome to Kaka's Hideout. I am Kaka Konami. Uh, today, I mean tonight, I'm going to do a video reading that is, um, and the topic will be what your dreams are trying to tell you. So this is because I've made the same reading in Tagalog. Bakit lagi mo siyang napapanaginipan? Um, and um, I promised that uh, every end of the month, I'm going to check the video that has the the biggest revenue. So whichever video gets the highest revenue, uh, I'm going to make. I'm going to do a remake of that video from both languages. So, for example, in this case, the highest uh, revenue or the video that has got the highest revenue is Bakit lagi mo siya or in English, uh, why are you always dreaming of him or her? Or what? Or in this case, uh, what your dreams are trying to tell you. Or maybe we'll just uh, switch the title into why are you always dreaming about this person and um, I'm going to do uh, an English version and a Bisaya version so if in the future the highest um, paying video will be in English I'm going to do a remake of it in Tagalog and in Bisaya and so on and so forth if it's Bisaya it's I'm going to do a remake of the same video in Tagalog and in English so so if you would like to if you would like me to have a remake of a video that you've seen before from this channel so try to not skip the ads so I'm trying to be practical here so also to encourage you guys into watching the advertisements because um, that's where I get my money anyway um, I received a deck from a client uh, from Marianne W. I uh, she sent me this Centennial Right Away Tarot, or is it Right Away? No, I forgot where I placed the box. It's in that big box. So <laughs> never mind. This Centennial Tarot, uh, she sent it to me. So this is going to be added into the options that you're going to choose from for this pick a uh, pick a deck reading. So. If you have any suggestions for uh, choose a deck reading like this one, please do not hesitate to comment down below. And um, what else? Is there anything else? And for donations, uh, I have my PayPal link uh, at the description box. And if you would like to donate um, cards, just send me a private message either on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. That'll be included at the description box below as well. Okay. <clears throat> so let's start. Why are you always dreaming of this person? Let me just write it down. By the way, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, please do not take the message. Why are you always dreaming of him or her? Okay, so we have four options now. So the first one will be the Sasha Fenton deck. This one. Again. Second will be the Right Away or the Gong. Number three is the Witch's Tarot. And number four is the Centennial Tarot. This one. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. If you need more time, please pause the video and we're going to start. 
So I'm, first, I'm going to start with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. I mean, cards. So, um, that's for the overall energy. Okay, now let me put this down. Okay, for the first choice, the Sasha Fenton deck. If you chose the Sasha Fenton deck, this is your reading. <clears throat> Why are you always dreaming of this person? Why are you always dreaming of him or her? Why? What closure is needed? What issue needs to be tackled? Why are you always dreaming of this person? Number one. Co uh, <laughs> sorry. Co-create in reverse. So there must be something that... Both of you are wanting to create together. Maybe a baby, maybe a family, a career, a business, um, a business goal, a business partnership. Let's see. Uh, what is it exactly, and what your tarot cards are going to say? For number two, please clarify. Co-create reversed for number two. emperor reversed so maybe this is about business or this is about financial uh, stability maybe both of you are aiming to be financially stable uh, in the future or maybe there is or there was something that the both of you are supposed to to achieve together or to work on together but one one of you is being too dominant or too domineering, too bossy, um, too ego, egotis, uh, egotistic. That the goal to be partners actually failed. So that's why you're always dreaming of this person. Now, let's see what's the best thing to do about your situation with this person. Okay, this card flipped. So it's... Page of Wands reversed. So this has got something to do with miscommunication, misinterpretation of what? The devil. So of... Oh, okay. So devil is um, toxicity. So maybe um, what you need to do is to not allow yourself to be bound to this situation if you know in your heart that you're not going to be understood by this person if you always have to explain everything again and again and that person is still uh, going to end up in a conclusion that's too far from what you really meant then don't stay in that uh, situation so maybe um, since bondage is the devil, maybe you are not, or maybe you have found another partner for this financial um, goal, this business goal, whatever it, this emperor reverse may be. But you're still tied to this person that you're always dreaming, uh, that you always, no, that always shows up in your dreams. For some reason, um, Maybe you're emotionally attached uh, attached to this person. Maybe you're financially attached to this person. You want to break free from your connection with this person, but you can't. And um, it's free will. So if you are going to allow yourself to be stuck in that situation with this person, then that's how you're going to end up. But... Let me see. Bottom of the deck is lovers reversed. So if this is not a, a give and take type of relationship or partnership, then why stay? So it's like, yes, you may you may find yourself bound to this person, but it's it's like the page of wands is telling me to tell you that you don't need to express yourself. You. Instead of explaining why you're leaving, or why you choose to leave, or what issue 
you think needs to be tackled. If you know that you're just going to, you know, talk around in circles, then why not just leave and stop explaining? I'm sensing that whenever you try to explain yourself to this person, this person is going to flip the topic and deflect this uh, his or her own faults and make it look like everything's your fault. So why bother explaining? If this is very toxic to you, especially if uh, for some reason I'm hearing that maybe the toxicity of this connection is um, also affecting your health. Maybe you, you cannot sleep well, maybe you cannot eat well. Then why, why stay? Have mercy on yourself, number one. You don't have to explain why you're choosing yourself. Just choose yourself and leave. So there. And if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is two of cups upright. So you will be able to find someone who will support you emotionally, uh, morally. About uh, When it comes to your goals, you will find someone who is worthy of your affection, worthy of your attention and your focus. And tower reverse. You can rebuild what this toxic connection uh, destroyed. So there. That's for you, number one. And if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And again, uh, if you would like to suggest any uh, topics regarding, uh, I mean, topics that you would like me to tackle on a pick a deck reading, just comment down below. Now, for the people who chose number two, the Rider Way Tarot or the Digong. I call it Digong because President Duterte loves to <laughs> wear checkered. Okay. For the people who chose number two, I know, this is not uh, the first. We're going to start with the Wisdom of the Oracle card. So, for the people who chose number two, why is number two always dreaming of this person? What closure needs to be done? And what, is what issue needs to be tackled? For number two, please. And the card is Breathe Reversed. So maybe this person uh, got you in us, just like the the number one, uh, number one, uh, the Sasha Fenton deck. It seems like there is a bond, uh, a bondage. In this connection, like you want to do something on your own, but you cannot. Okay. So let's see, what does this brief reverse? mean for the people who chose number two. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. So just like number one, uh, it has got something to do with financial stability or wanting to start a financial uh, goal, a project, but everything is so chaotic maybe in your situation with this person that you cannot, uh, you cannot figure out how to start. Whatever it is that you're planning to do together. So, two of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. So, you have to decide. You have to finalize the decision. So, what's the best thing to do about this? Wheel of Fortune. Wait for the best uh, time to start this. It's like... If it's not meant to happen, no matter how much you, you work hard for it, if it's not meant for you, it's not going to happen. So at least try to rely on God's perfect timing, divine timing. And um, what else? Eight of Wands upright. So maybe you have to explore new places. Maybe you have to consider relocation. Or try to communicate from people who you know can um, 
can help you with this goal. Maybe mutual friends, or if this person that you're always dreaming of, or always shows up in your dreams, number two. If this is someone who's far away from you, then maybe you have to communicate. Maybe you have to reach out. So it's like, you have to send communication or travel towards this, pers this person's uh, location. Those, uh, either of the two, or maybe both. Maybe, you know, try to give them a heads up that I'm about to come to your place. And we need to talk in order for us to find out how are we going to make our situation more comfortable. Is this breathe? How are we going to make this situation comfortable in order for us to move forward and start anew? Maybe together or separately. Now, if you're going to do just that, you know, try to reach out and explore the possibilities. How are you going to come up with a tactic or a solution together? Possible outcome is, get this one, he wants to keep up, death reversed so you will be able to tackle a situation that needs to end needs to be terminated what else and you will be able to cut off ties to whatever is holding you back whatever is stopping you from progress again may it be separately or together so there that's for you, number two. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's proceed to the people who chose number three. Or the people who chose the witch's tower. This one. Okay. Okay, for the people who chose number three, why are you always dreaming of him or her? What closure needs to happen and what issue needs to be tackled? For the people who chose number three, please. Okay, this part wants to jump up. Truth be told, reverse. Maybe there are lies, pretensions going on between the two of you. Maybe you lied to this person. Maybe you pretend that you don't care uh, for this person or vice versa. Take it however it resonates. Let me see what this pretension is all about and from which aspect of your situation is it connected in it. Four of Wands reverse, so maybe something about ease and comfort, home life. So maybe both of you are pretending that you're not comfortable in each other's company. Maybe both of you are pretending that you don't want to build a home uh, together. Maybe both of you are pretending that you don't want to settle down with each other. Or what else? Maybe both of you are pretending that you're stable, that you manage, that you're in a situation of comfort and ease and, and domestic bliss, but in truth you are not. And for some reason I'm sensing that both of you are lying, not just one of you. So that may resonate to a few of you guys so just comment down below if I'm correct now what's the best thing to do about this connection for the people who chose number three Queen of Pentacles so make your own money channel your or focus your attention to your own stability number three and nurture yourself pamper and you love yourself why? Because the situation is going to be more competitive. Competitive in what way? Page of Cups. So maybe this person that you that always uh, shows up in your dreams. Number three, maybe this 
person got a lot of options or maybe um maybe this person's got a lot of options to offer their love or maybe this person's got a lot of options wherein people offer them their affection so might as well try to stand out and um if you're if you notice a uh, four of ones reversed is lacking stability lacking comfort and ease and then truth be told reversed with these combined it seems like both of you are being um, driven by your pride, by your ego. I don't want this person to know that I'm effed up. I don't want this person to know that I'm broke. I don't want this person to know that I'm not happy at home. And the advice is Queen of Pentacles, so you have to be grounded. First thing, a uh, first step in order to be grounded is to be honest with yourself. And if you love this person, honest with your loved ones, right? So it's like you have to stand uh, stand out because there is competition here. Maybe this person would like to reach out but is being stopped by their ego. That's why they are daydreaming that if they, they are going to choose uh, one, uh, one of the other options. This is confusion and delusion. So, and options, being confused about the options being given. So, maybe this person is trying their best to make it look like their option is okay. Make it look like even if they do not choose you, number three, they're going to be alright. Again, driven by ego. Now, if you're going to do just that, you know, try to stand out, try to, you know, be grounded and honest and totally in love with yourself. I'm not, not in love with yourself. More like, that sounds narcissistic. Um, more like knowing your self-worth. The possible outcome is moon upright. There will be secrets and emotions, turmoil of emotions that's going to be reevaluated. If you not uh, if you're noticing this person is trying to look out into the horizon, trying to figure out if there is anything else coming in. With the, the moon upright here, it's like once you stand out. Once you make sure that you flaunt your worth to this person, this person is going to secretly, it's like, this is not looking at other options or re-evaluating other options. Like, it feels like this person is going to watch out what else are you going to bring out. What else are you going to show off? That eventually is going to make them reevaluate their emotions towards you. It's like the more you you show off your self worth, or the more you front that you love yourself, you know your worth, and you are incomparable the more this person is going to be forced to look into their emotions if they can or will let you go. If they can or will choose you or are they going to choose their ego instead? It's like they're going to reevaluate their feelings towards you because you're being hot, mama. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I'm grounded, I have my own money, I'm comfortable in my own skin, and they'd be like, what else can I see? What else can I learn from you? And then this is like telling, is 
it's like this is like tell this person telling themselves that oh this uh, moon card seems uh, feels like this person the person that keeps on uh, coming up into your dreams they will be asking themselves if they they can let you go if they if letting you go is going to make them happy or if you can or if they can take it if you keep on loving yourself and find someone who loves you too so it's like you know you know that that type of tactic wherein you pretend that you don't care you just love yourself you just pamper yourself but you're so you're looking sideways trying to check if they are following if if they are you know checking up on you that's a type of um tactic that you need to do with this person because they'll get curious and then they will be reevaluating their emotions and be honest with themselves if they love you or not or, or if they can take it that you might find someone else or not or yeah don't make sense <laughs> anyway uh it's Okay, last attempt to explain it. It's like, once you find how beautiful you are, how pampered you are, or how how much you know your self-worth, the more they're going to question if themselves, if they're going to openly recognize your worth, or they're just going to choose their pride and let go of you, or of this connection. So there. That's for you, number three. If you like that part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's proceed to number four. Okay. For the people who chose number four, why are you always dreaming of this person? What closure needs to happen? And what issue needs to be tackled okay i got one two three four five cards so time for a nap reversed time to go reversed mending between worlds and blessed now i'm going to put it back because i only need one but let's take note of those cards if they're going to show up again okay now again for the people who chose number four or the centennial tarot why is number four always dreaming of this person what closure needs to happen and what issue needs to be tackled okay breathe Reversed, so just like number two, I guess. Bottom of the deck, truth untold. Reversed. Now, lack of comfort for breathe reversed. Uh, restrictions. Clarify breathe reversed, please, for the people who chose number four. Page of Cups. There is a desire to um, offer love, to, to make an emotional confession. Maybe you, number four, would like to confess your emotions towards this person or vice versa. Take it however it resonates. Bottom of the deck, star reversed. So you're still hoping even if you see no hope in the horizon it's like nah it's not visible yet but it will be you know what else okay magician 
and three of cups reversed. For some reason, I'm not sensing that the three of cups reversed is a disconnection or breakup. Oh, for some reason, I'm sensing that this has got something to do with um, taking the situation seriously. Because three of cups is celebration, being chill, being relaxed about a situation. But reversed, it can also mean that you're no longer trying to see the situation in a relaxed way. But you're taking the situation seriously. With the magician up, uh, upright, it only means that you're manifesting this number four. So maybe... Maybe you're doing magic, black or white, doesn't matter, take it wherever it resonates, in order to bring this person back into your circle, hopefully see them again, confess your, your love or emotions towards this person, that's why you're always dreaming of this person, or maybe vice versa, this person is also uh, trying to manifest you into their lives. Uh, wanting you to reach out to them or wanting for them to know your location, go go over to your place and, and talk to you and confess an uh, emotional confession uh, for, uh, to you. Now, what's the best thing to do about this connection for number four? Okay, this one's sticking out. Knight of Wands reversed. So do not... Okay, so it's like if this person is going to show up, if this person is going to talk to you, do not expect this person to stay. Or if you are the one who would like to reach out and would like to talk to this person, uh, Knight of Wands reversed is um, a warning that uh, this person is not the commitment type and this is also a warning if you you number four is the the type of person who's not a commitment type another scenario is that knight of wands reverse can also mean that you have to evaluate yourself. Are you going to commit to this connection, to this, uh, to this person, if you're going to see them? Are you that in love to this person in order to commit to them? Or you just felt like reaching out and telling them that you love them, but you're not actually going to stay. So it's just wasting this person's time so might as well reevaluate your feelings towards this person and then this card jumped out two of pentacles reversed finalize a decision would you like to have this for good or you just want just like the usual knight of wands reversed a uh, one night stand just to know how it feels to be with this person just to satisfy the curiosity. So, another set of cards jumped out. This is the Ten of Wands and the Ten of uh, Ten of Wands reversed and the Ten of Cups upright. So, once you take, um, once you tackle this situation, once you finalize the situation, if you would like. If you're going to commit with this person or not, then you will be able to find, finally, the one that will make you happy. So it's like if you're not going to commit with this person, then you'll, f after you, after this closure, you will be able to, um, it's, it's like you'll be able to decide right away if this is the person for you or not and then you'll be able to find someone that you would like to commit yourself into what else is there anything else so it's like 
you have just a moment. It's like you have to finalize your decision if you would like to commit to this person or not, or if it's okay for you that this person is not going to commit in a relationship with you. So that when the closure um so that when you know the answer if this is a commitment type of connection or not, you'll be able to concentrate on the connection that will make you happy. So this can mean um it, uh, this can mean that once you figure out if you would like to commit or not, let's say, for example, you would like to commit with this person, but this person doesn't, then you will be able to uh, move on and look for the one who will give you what you want. But if you are the one who's not wanting to commit and this person is the commitment type, then that person is going to con concentrate on looking for the person that's going to give him or her the relationship the relationship that he or she wants so it's like you know trying to check check up on past connections do i want this or no and if it's a no then find by find your commitment person out there and if by the time that you reconnect, you realize I want to commit to with this person, then this is what's going to happen. So there. Now, if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you would like to suggest any topics for this um, uh, type of uh, pick a card reading or pick a deck reading, just comment down below. And again, it's a general message, so please do not take the messages that does not resonate. Okay, that'll be all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice one.